Look at this thing. I got this. I'm going to be playing with this, but there's one problem with this, and that is it has Windows 11. I hate Windows 11, and I've never even used it, which is nothing really new to me. You know, it's really easy to just prejudge, especially Windows. But I also used to hate Windows 10. Now I'm going out of my way to get it back, and let me tell you why. I don't know if you remember, but when Windows 10 first came out, there was a whole bunch of stuff about like spyware and telemetry and just all that kind of crap. And I was an avid Windows 7 user. Very, very, very stubborn in my ways. Windows 7 is so streamlined and just so gutted by the community just to keep everything out of it. Although, you know, it has its flaws, but Windows 10 came out and I'm like, no. But thankfully the internet is the internet and a bunch of people have uh, done random stuff to make Windows 10 actually very usable and pretty much my go-to system. And that brings me to this and Windows 11. I'm just not ready. Today's video is gonna be sponsored by gbgmall.com because they sell Windows keys and I don't wanna spend $200 for Windows and I've been using them since January of 2019. A long time ago, they approached me with an offer. And I was a little hesitant, a little bit. I was like, I don't know who you are, but then I tried it out, I bought a key and holy crap, it was easy and this smells really, really fresh. I don't even remember the exact specs on this, but I'm pretty sure it has an Intel i7 or 11, 11700. I think it has an 11700 in it, has an SSD. Obviously it has no graphics card, it's just iGPU. Um, mm, and 32 gigs of RAM. I take that back, 16, it's got an i7 11800. 16 gigs of RAM. So this, I wanna do some tests with this. I have a few things in mind, but I do not wanna use Windows 11, which is counterproductive to the whole sponsor thing because GBG Mall actually has this like back to school sale thing where they're pushing Windows 11. So, you know, more power to you, but I can still get Windows 10 because I have a discount code with them, which by the way, when I say I've used them since 2019, my first sponsorship video, I've spent over $300 with them. I've actually purchased eight copies of Windows 10, just installing on random systems and also working on family members and friends and stuff like that. And I've also bought Microsoft Office. It's literally the only two things I've ever bought. Like this is my purchase history throughout the years. Oh, I need the power cable for this. You know, a lot of people just like don't like know they don't know what to do when they go and they're gonna build their own PC. Like they don't know like, oh, I need Windows. Let's just pay $200 on Amazon or something. All right, cool. Thankfully, even though I haven't had a continual like affiliate thing with them or anything like that, I've still been able to help them avoid paying stupid amounts of money for Windows. Let's, let's, let's do this. Pretty sure I got a monitor around here somewhere, although I do not want to unplug that. So we venture into here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I forgot, it's right there. That's gonna be the easiest one. Look, don't judge me, okay? <laughs> you know, sometimes it's just about what's around you and it's just easier. By the way, Windows 10 is, I'm not delusional. Windows 10 is not perfect. Like there is still a battle you have to do. Eh, kind of like a boxing match that you have to do every time you want to install Windows 10, which uh, I mentioned this before. You always want to carry some USBs on you. Got a little adapter here for ethernet and then one of these, which I don't label them very well, has, uh, tools, Windows 10 1809. Okay, not that old, not that old. Windows 10 2, 1 of 23. It's always good to have these on you at all time because you never know when you're gonna install Windows. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. I didn't plug that in. Okay, I've installed countless amounts of Windows installations. Wow, that was very fast. And in today's video, I wanna give just like three very basic steps. Three very basic steps that will not apply to everybody, okay? If you are a generic user, you don't care about, you know, connected, cloud connected, I hate using that word, but you don't care about a lot of the things that they force upon you, then this is not for you. However, if you're like me and you do not want an online account, you do not want to be forced to log in, you do not want all the telemetry with Windows 10, and you just want to use your system as efficiently as possible, then I'm going to give you probably three main tips. I always love seeing like this classic bio screen instead of like all the newest stuff that they have right now. Like all the newer stuff is like flashy and you can use a mouse and stuff like that, but no, these, these are just the good old Days. Actually, I've already made my changes, so right now I'm just showing you what it is. I just changed the boot configuration, so it'll boot up from the USB, and this brings me to tip number one. The first thing that you absolutely want to do when installing Windows is not connecting to the internet. Just don't do it. It's a terrible idea. If you have any experience installing Windows, you know that they really, 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 really 
wants you to use a Microsoft account. They really want you to log in. Technically speaking, logging into your Microsoft account does give you some benefits, like if you get a Windows 10 key, like I'm about to do, I'll show you how easy it is. If you get a Windows 10 key and then you have to reprogram, as long as you logged in, then it's a lot easier to carry that over to a new system. But at $16 a key, it's, it's like, yeah, I'm good. Because they can't connect to their servers, they have no choice but to let you just set up your computer. That's tip number one. No internet, avoid the Microsoft account, and hopefully potentially avoid a lot of just bloatware and crap just from all the initial stuff. I can already imagine how this is gonna go. So, uh, Gmail, we got this sponsored video thing. Uh, they have a sale about Windows 11, right? I mean, it's cheap. If you look at it, like you can get it for like $23 for Windows 11 Pro. And if my experience has taught me anything with using their service is that it just kind of works. I've only had one issue in the past with the Windows 10 key that I purchased from them. And that was because I took the drive and I literally put in an entirely different system and Windows freaked out. And because I wasn't signed in, they just said no. And then I proceeded to cry myself to sleep in $16 worth of pain. Yeah, look at all that stuff. Look at, no, go away. Now that this is doing its thing, I'm gonna show you exactly how fast and easy it is to get a Windows 10 product key. Go into the gvgmall.com, they flaunt this, exactly what they do. Windows 10 Pro, Windows 11 Pro. My personal favorite, which is Office 2019, because it gives you the most features without all of the crap. All right from the screen, I'm gonna click on Windows 10. I'm going to add this to my cart, and then I'm gonna go to my shopping cart, and I actually have a discount code that I've had active since 2019. So, BMB20, I'm pretty sure that's still it. No, nope, BMB20. Come on, do the thing, $16.31 for Windows 10. Yeah, yeah, let's check out. I always pay with PayPal just because I always feel comfortable with PayPal. It's the easiest way to do it. So this is submitted. It is currently 8.07 p.m. So let's go ahead and go to my user center. Let's check it out. Oh, it can't be done that fast. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. All right, sweet. Like a caveman, I actually printed this off and I have to be 100% honest here. In the past, when I used this service, it was not that fast. Like it, it did not go through instantly. I remember one time I had to wait like five minutes. Like it was just grueling, but hey, apparently things have changed, they're better, so that's cool. I think the best part of this is that I had to hunt down a cable and plug it in here and then I have to drag it from in here all the way over to my studio because even though I have a jack, it doesn't work. Not even kidding, look at that. So I have a five and a six, look at that. Only the five works. It is on my to-do list, just not yet. So change product key and I'm gonna type this in. Should be good, should be good. Windows is activated with a genuine license. This is my most favorite moment right here. When you switch it, it's like, no, please don't go. Oh no. Step number two, after you do all your configurations and your updates and stuff like that, is Chris Titus Tech's Windows Utility. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let me go. <laughs> so you take this command, gonna go over here, paste it, hit enter, and let it do its magic. Now I'm not gonna go through all of these settings, but as you can see, if I can zoom in a little right there, it's got a lot. You got different tweaks, different configurations. You can set up some basics. You can go through here and you can install all of the basic tools that you would normally install on a system. It just, it's like a one-stop shop. It does all your things. You can have some very basic essential tweaks, miscellaneous tweaks, including Chrome. You know, like you don't even have to launch Edge. But this is my favorite part. Disable telemetry, Wi-Fi sense, all these like little garbage things that they install. We got the dark theme. And then I disable the Bing search in the start menu. That is the absolute worst thing. That is like, that is like, the last uh, setup is, oh, shut up, 10. It is a wonderful, free, anti-crapware software that you can download that will go through and remove telemetry. It'll go through, disable Cortana, OneDrive. You can even disable Windows updates, which I actually don't recommend. I tried that originally and then I couldn't get updates to drivers. And then when I plug things in, it wouldn't automatically install. But I digress, it allows you to make a lot of different changes. So I definitely recommend it. Now there are a ton, and I mean a ton of different options that you can apply. I just basically went through and you go up here, you can go actions, apply only recommended settings. It's usually the safest and the easiest way to do that. 
You, it gets rid of all of the basic junk. But take your time, go through the list, look at it, all the little options, it'll tell you, it'll explain it to you, it'll say this is green, this is safe to disable, and it'll tell you if something's really bad, limited, this one is no, it's like prohibit apps from running in the background, for example. That would be a terrible thing if you're trying to do anything productive that you wanted to still run in the background. It gives you the option, but definitely don't do it. Now, both of these things that I've talked about today, the Chris Titus and the, the Oh Shut Up 10, I recommend it for everybody. Maybe not to the fullest extent of all the different options, but I recommend everybody to run those, everybody to just manage their PC just a little bit to calm Windows 10 down. It's tools like these that make me a fan of Windows 10 because people have taken the time, they've attacked Windows 10 from every angles, and they've just calmed it down. For Windows 11, on the other hand, I'm probably gonna wait until I'm actually forced to use it just because I'm stubborn. But what it really comes down to is if you are new to the PC thing and you're building your own thing and you're thinking about buying like a Windows 10 key from Amazon, for 200 bucks, whatever it is, don't do it. It's a waste of money, don't do it. I've been using GVG Mole since 2019, so that's four plus years, and I've only had one issue, and it was kind of my fault because I was just moving stuff around. I mean, let's be honest, for the difference in the price, you could upgrade the hardware, make it just a little bit better. Well, that's it for today, guys. Of course, I will leave all this information in the description of this video down below. And that will include my discount code for gvgmall.com, which is BNB20, which ironically, because I've been with them so long, it's actually 25% instead of 20%. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure to leave those in the comment section down below. As always, thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself a great day.